Hey campers, I just wanted to show you some uh, manufacturing issues that I uh, had to deal with with my uh, Keystone trailer. Um, in general, gonna we're very happy with it, but uh, just recently the uh, we were I tried running the water pump with it plugged into the power shore power worked fine, but as soon as soon as you unplug it, like five minutes after you unplug it, and the battery dips to the you know. 12.6 volts. If it's under load at 12.4 low, 12.4 volts, um, I tested this. The uh, uh, the water pump <coughs> uh, just runs on and on. Like you turn the water on, it goes. Burr, 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 burr. Turn the water off, and it goes. Burr, 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 just keeps on running. That's no good. So I checked the checked the voltage, checked a bunch of things, <coughs> and here I am underneath, and I figured it out. What had happened was two uh, the motor mounts. Here's one that's broken, and here's one that was just never connected. These two guys were on the other side, um, and these two guys were on here. And the motor was sort of leaning down and leaning down. And I swear, as soon as I un unscrewed this, everything worked. Um, so I bought some new new motor mounts uh, from some website um there was like a canadian two canadian dealers and one in florida and i found these guys um and one thing i noticed was these come with these little these little white plastic things and they go inside and, and those hadn't been mounted here so that could have been responsible for um why this broke um i don't know but uh had to fix it and uh, now I gotta figure out how to get back here to put this guy uh, to slide that motor mount in, but it'll be fine. Um, and there was a, there were other issues. The three of the windows um, had never uh, leaked. Um, the, pre the previous owner uh, had never tried, uh, hadn't pulled the slide out. So those two two of the windows, um, they had never pulled the slide out. Uh, in the rain, I can imagine them not knowing that the not knowing that it leaked. Another window, I don't know why, but I fixed those. Now I know how to fix uh, windows and many other things. So let's see if we can uh, we can get these motor mounts in, and all will be well. Oh, and I mentioned the previous owner. It's important because um, you know while this RV is new to me, it's not new. So. Water, you know, water problems are warranted for one year. And this is like, I'm not taking this in for dealer service. It would take like six months and freaking we're going on, on vacation in six days. So we're going to get this done. Oh, and another thing I noticed is the water in um, doesn't have a, a FlowJet water filter sieve. Um, that I found in the manual, and they say that if you don't have one, uh, it won't be covered under warranty. So, Keystone, mm. it'll be fine. Hey, hey, okay, I got the mounted, and it was like this. So with the new motor mounts, it's a little quieter, which is nice. And it should run, which is the important part. Uh, just a little bit more. I noticed that the installer knew that he inst installed the mounts wrong because these two holes are in the right place. And that hole's in the impossible place. So he did it wrong. She, they, they wrong. Okay, it's all screwed in. It's looking good. Mounted well. Job done.